Hello, my cherished ducklings. I, um, excuse this, this looks really strange. I'm very happy you're here. Very, very happy. Um, why am I dressed like a 1940s uh, starlet? I don't know. Something just came over me. Maybe I'm possessed. Maybe not. Okay, I'm very happy you're here. I'm Perry Lyons. This is Perry Lyons, New York City celebrity psychic, which could mean either I work with celebrities or I'm a celebrity, probably nor number one, except I did, I did, I was in Maryland and I, I was at the polling, there's a, a political event and I met the governor and his mom was there. His name's Les Brown. And she said, I know you. I'm like, you do? She said, yes, you're the psychic lady who had the piano fall on her head. For those of you who don't know, I had a piano fall on my head about 12 years ago, which made me more psychic, but less comfortable. Um, it could have been worse, could have been an anvil, but long story. Anyway, that's why I'm dressed like a 1940s movie star, but mostly because it's fun. And whenever I start to get a little blue or low energy, I ask myself the following question. What would the happiest woman in the world do right now? And then I do that. Um, it works, amazing. So we're about to do psychic weather. First, I'm going to take a big swig of, this is pure vodka. By the end of the show, I should be speaking Serbo-Croatian. <laughs> Sounds like it is pure vodka. Backwards. Um, there goes that joke. So I'm sitting here staring at my phone like a lovesick teenager waiting for you to call. Oh, Bobby, why doesn't Bobby call? Because you don't know anybody named Bobby Perry. Um, so I'm going to do the psychic tarot weather. As we all know, psychic tarot weather is just like regular weather, except less damaging to crops. Uh, the first card I pick is uh, the beginning of the week, which is starting today. So and then the next card is a weekend. You get the hang of this. The third card is the end of the week. Um, and even if you're just tuning in and passing because you're trying to get like the stock market or farm reports or whatever, um, it still applies to you because even if we hear it accidentally, it still counts. Okay, the first one is interesting. You might feel it's a two pinnacle. So it's a guy in a dopey hat. Because once you realize that tarot is pretty much all about funny hats, once you realize that, and sometimes shoes, you've got it taped. Um, he's juggling two possibilities. The This could be somebody who is currently having a long commute. So, you know, they live in one place and they work in another and it's a long commute. It could be maybe you have two potential love interests that you're kind of having them both fill up uh, applications. I can't talk today. Ham and ham and ham. And I, okay, all better. Um, so there's some way in which you're not fully committing to something because you're kind of half-assing it, but that's okay. Um, we're all allowed to do that sometime. You might also be putting off a decision by kind of being indecisive, which is putting off a decision. I think I'll get rid of this card. It doesn't seem to be helping. Um, the next card I love. If you've watched the show for a while, and if you have, bless you. Bless your paws and whiskers. I love you. Um, next card is the Wheel of Fortune card. This card is very simple. It has, for me, it always has one meaning for the 20 years I've been reading since I was six. And that is, your luck was not so good. Suddenly, your luck is quite good. Go figure. It's a sudden reversal of fortune for the better card. And in my own life, this card will often show up when I'm at a low point, And then the next day, I'm like dating a movie star. Kind of literally. Um, that was long ago, but oh, the memories. And for a small price and a self-addressed stamped envelope, I'll tell them to you. Anyway, so if you've been having a rough patch, this card says very clearly, rough patch over sunshine and chocolate babies and well, maybe not babies, um, unicorns, unicorns uh, ahead. It really, I'm being a little flip here. Speaking of flip, I'm going to go like that. Woo! Um, but it's true nonetheless. And the last card, Funny card. It's um Knight of Swords. It's a dashing young man, as you can see. He's literally a knight in shining armor, except his armor's not so shiny here. It's a new deck. Um, but he's sort of coming to the rescue. And this is a man who's probably under 45, 
Oh, excuse me, knight of swords. My bad. Uh, under thirty-five. So youngish man, we'll just say that. He might be lying about his age. Who knows? But he's kind of coming to the rescue in some way. This doesn't necessarily mean a love interest. It can mean a friend who comes to help you out at the last minute when your AC breaks. It could mean somebody at the office who recommends you behind your back for a job you want. Um, but it could also be romantic. It could be somebody who is kind of coming towards you in a dashing way in a an enthusiastic kind of manly knightly way so those are your options so to sum up and then we're going to get to the young lady from dallas texas where i have so many friends are you still there yes oh good i'll be right with you thank you for being so patient you're an angel so the first card is you're kind of got one foot in two camps that's two feet for a total of two. Yes, right. That's anatomically correct. Um, so it's time to pick one and kind of make a decision. So the second card is your luck hasn't been very good. That's about to change for the better noticeably and almost overnight. And the third card is a helpful energy. He this can also be, since swords are air signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, who's coming in to help you in some way. Who knows? Okay, I do. Actually, that's the whole point of the show. Hi, tell me your name again, because my producer flashed, flashed it on the screen so fast I didn't see it. <laughs> my name is Jenny. Oh, I love that name. Um, it's so romantic. There's something so romantic about that name. And I like to connect to people through their birthdays. So when is your birthday? Mm -hmm. uh, December 4th. Oh, Sagittarius. Woohoo! We love this. Um, <laughs> we do. So well, we have our moments, you know. <laughs> you you do. You also you're kind of the truth, the the blunt blunt force truth tellers of the zodiac, and you're very funny. Um, I've never met a Sag who wasn't funny. Um, also, yeah, we tend to have a dry wit, you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, it's funny. It, Sagittarius is a very good, what I call truth, truth radar, truth inner bell, uh, a BS detector, if you will. And people who are very good at truth are usually very funny. So how can I help you? I already like you. Well, I need some guidance about my job. Uh-oh. Do you want to stay there? No. Yeah. You're not appreciated there. Weird. Oh no! Like the, not, they, it, it's 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 brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. It's so weird. It's like it 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 it's like being in kind of a den full of enemies. It's weird. It's like me and my housing yeah. association here. Um, yeah, yeah, they just don't get you. And the thing is, you're perfectly you're you're wonderful. More than normal. You're delightful and charming and kind and generous and always trying to help them out. And they're just like, talk to the hand, lady. Um, I don't get it. Get out of there. Um, let me see. I'm gonna, you know, actually going to pick. Like, like what? do you see anything new for me in the, you know, I, really, huh. cause I, I can't have downtime. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You need to get out of there. And this card backs that up. If you can see this guy is fighting like these invisible enemies with a big stick. And that's somebody who, for some reason, is finding himself under attack. Um, so that's you right now. That would be me. That would be you. Except he's wearing a tunic and I don't think you are. Oh, there's going to be, so you've got a change coming up. The hanged man doesn't actually mean that you're going to hang by one foot. Um, although, knock yourself out. If, that's, if that floats your boat, go, go for it. Um, but this does mean that you're coming to some sort of realization. In a way, this job has been useful by teaching you what you don't like and what you won't put up with. And I think the amount of disrespect you're putting up with here is just not, that's not going to, you want me to go come over and frown at them for you? Would that help? I'm very tall. <laughs> They'd be scared. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, what have I done? I mean, these people, I mean, nothing. there's a chick there that she hated me the minute she saw me. And it has yeah. gone downhill from there. Well, they're all very conventional and scared and have their heads up their bottoms. 
Um, I'm no threat. <sighs> trust me. I'm not. Yeah, but you are because you live in your truth. When you kind of live, you're very authentic. And you're very generous spiritually and emotionally and physically. I mean, that makes it sound like I think you sleep around. That's not what I meant. Um, but you'll give you'll give somebody the shirt off your back. I mean, uh, then you'll be cold. So don't do that. But they're threatened by your authenticity. They're very they're very kind of conventional small people. I'm sorry, but they are. Um, it's funny. I'm going through a similar well, very thing. Very with- in depth. A lot of a lot of different software. You know what I'm saying? And they basically have kind of refused to train me. Yeah, uh, but they don't. You're too good for that place. And here's the thing: the justice card means that you're going into a job where you are going to get what you deserve in in a good way. It sounds like I'm saying you're going to get what's coming to you, young lady. But I actually mean that. <laughs> Sorry, I just turned into my mother for a minute. <laughs> but justice card means you're finally getting positive recognition and attention and appreciation. This is where you're going. Um, and I'm wondering, I'm trying to figure out what you do. Hold on. Da, 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 da. I was humming, I'm thinking. Uh, da, da, da. Problem with everybody working at computers is when I ask Spirit to show me somebody at work, they're in front of a computer. I'm like, that's not a huge help. Um, you're good at admin. I don't think it's medical. You, you're, no, no, you do I've something. I've never been in medical. I've just always been, you know, no, an no. admin assistant in one form or another, yeah. you know? No, admin is where I got. No, I was saying you, you don't do medical. That's not. Um, so I shouldn't have really brought it up, actually. It's completely pointless. Forget I said that. Um, you, Dallas, there's some. There's a lot of high-end offices. Um, I would think bigger. I would find a company that has a lot of money and go there and tell them if they need you. Or go on LinkedIn and tell them that way. But you've got a really good resume. Um, you're on top of all the latest programs and tech, which you said, um, you, with the exception of this office, and that's not your fault. This is not your doing. No, 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 no. These are just weird people. Sometimes this just happened to me. I have a place in Maryland and I'm a gardener and I, this, I think beautiful, chaotic garden with it's grapevines and it's got, and I've got little sculptures hanging off my trellis and and everybody got really mad at me. It's like, you have to take that stuff down and you have to pull that down. And and I all this time I thought they they I thought they thought I was this lovable eccentric. Turns out they think I'm a big ass weirdo. And that's not my fault. I mean, I am a big ass weirdo, but it's the same kind of thing. It's like these people don't get you. And if they don't get you, that's their loss. And it really is in your case. You're a great storyteller. Well, since I'm really quiet because it's the environment is really Really, really unfriendly. Yes, it, it really is. So let's get you a new job. Let's see what that is. It's okay, very, you're going very, very. Uh... Yeah, I would, you know, go on LinkedIn or, or ask your friends. Also, you know, I think there's a young person around you, who oddly might know of a job opening. I'm not sure. Uh, the Page of Swords is a young person, probably a Gemini. Uh, Libra Aquarius, who's very quick-witted, might be related to you in some way. Um, you know, I think you'd do really well at a college. Interesting. Really? Um, yeah, because admin is just admin, and you like people. And my mom works yeah, at the university. Act, you know, they act like, you know, normal people, but this place is just, this is not no, normal. The, no, it isn't. The people in your office are warthogs who were magically transformed into human beings and are completely screwing that job up. Get out of there. Um, make sure that you have your butt covered in terms of insurance. Make sure that, you know, you give two oh, weeks notice. Oh, but... oh, Yeah. What? Well, I, I think yeah. she's planning on firing me this Friday, to be honest with you. You know, 
in Japan, if you get fired, they say, congratulations, because that means that that was not, it's a toxic atmosphere. If they fire you, it's a blessing. You're going to get something, let me see, within, oh, God, you're going to get a lot of opportunities. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Look what I got for you. A lot of opportunities. That's um, This card is a bunch of, things might seem up in the air. You see how all of these arrows seem like they're, they're up in the air, literally. So things will see up, seem up in the air for a little while. Maybe um, not that long, two weeks, three weeks. Um, but then okay. you're going to get a lot of opportunities at the same time, which I can guarantee. And then this is a beginning of a cycle of emotional happiness card. Woohoo! We like that card. Really? I have a good feeling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to be in a much better place. Um, God, I hope it sounds so. like you're. Yeah. Oh, do you see any um, love coming at me, or that's just completely out of the question nowadays? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, woman. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. People think that you have to be like gorgeous to land a man at our age. You don't. You just have to be interested in what the other person is saying. Um, mm -hmm. And I think you're very attractive. I'm not saying you're not gorgeous, but you have a great personality. Um, huh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Um, I picked the lover's card. That's a big deal. Oh, okay, Lord. let me see who I'm getting. <laughs> this is going to be really unexpected. I mean, it's it really unexpected too. It might be somebody you you meet at like a supermarket or why am I seeing you guys around fruit? That's very strange. Um, well, what you do in your private life is no concern of mine. Well, that is I don't see really this funny because every time, typically, if I go to the grocery store on a Saturday, somebody, some man will ask me some really ignorant question about. Route, He's know. hitting <laughs> on you. Like, That's what guys do. <laughs> Hi, Helena in, like, in uh, Arkansas. Uh, I mean, hell, not Helena. Darling, in Helena, Arkansas, I'll be with you in two minutes. I'm just going to finish, finish up with lovely Jenny here. He's hitting on you, you dope. You're like me. I, oh, never, well, know you know. <laughs> I never know if somebody's flirting with me unless they like pick me up and take me back to their cave and then I'll see them in court. But um, I know my son used yes, to say that to me. He goes, Mom, he goes, you're oblivious. <laughs> you are oblivious. It's very charming. Um, I can't believe every time you go to the supermarket, and I want points for this. I want points for my, like, you get hit on at the supermarket. <laughs> thing. That's pretty, imp I'm impressed. And it I'm is me. in the fruit and vegetables. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, <gasps> it always is. Well, it's the way you pick up that cucumber. I think that's, um, <laughs> okay, next time just say, just, just keep going with the conversation. That's all I ask. Doesn't have to be brilliant. All you can right. say, "What do you think of this pineapple?" And then when he tells you, <laughs> tell him it's stupid. Yeah, you're you're gonna have a boyfriend soon if that's what you want. I have parakeets instead. Um, <laughs> oh, Mila, well, you're gonna joy. Yeah. Don't worry too much about the job. If they do fire you, you're gonna be out of out of there and into a much better situation. You're gonna have a lot of opportunities coming up, and I'm not just saying that. I'm not, I'm not trying to burn. Really, I mean, I like, hope so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really. Because I, so, I'm just you. not up to this. No, this is not your, this is, get out of there. It's not good for you. Um, all right, my darling, but you, you're going to. So it was great meeting you. I'm so glad you called. I get the best people on this show. I really do. All right. <laughs>